stand the pledge pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all good evening today is February 6 2020 it's the environmental conservation board and the agenda that will follow First, I'd like to welcome Mr. Ian Federique to uh, the board. Um, welcome, and uh, look forward to having your input and guidance. So for the first one, we have uh, Thomas Capello, Capello for 92 Westlake Boulevard. Please approach, state your name, and what you're here to talk about. Thomas Patello and a proposed shed down by the lake. Okay, you were here last meeting, two meeting, three weeks ago. Yep. Correct. And you gave us a narrative. Yeah, I submitted everything that was requested right. to the best of my ability. Awesome. You got silk fence detail. So you need a what did you determine size of the rain garden you needed? <clears throat> well, I didn't know if you wanted if it was based off an inch and a half or an inch of rain. So I gave you two. Um, Tuesday. And, and I also wanted to know um, if I were able to use like a barrels to catch the rain, mm. but no one seems to have the answer on what the size barrels that if I used, because I wanted to keep it to keep, you know, to wash the uh, stuff down by the lake, you know, off. So if I just put two 55 gallon drums of, to catch the water, if that was good enough to reduce the flow and then have an overflow on that to eliminate the water. I don't think we've ever used a barrel, though. No, but it's definitely it's feasible. Done. Like yeah. that, that, that meets the needs of, you know, not having the, not having it directly go over, the, over water into the lake. I mean, over land into the lake. So it would be a, a, a drain at the end, on the bottom of the barrel? No, he would either a drain or he would just scoop it up by bucket, right? No, I'd put it, I would <clears throat> get it up in the air and then put, like, a little drain... A faucet or something on it? Right. Yeah. Put a little faucet on it so that I can wash things off. Hmm. How big would it be? The, what's the, the gallon? 55-gallon drum? That's what, what they sell them as, yeah. 50 to 60-gallon drums. Yeah. Yeah. No problem with that. Yeah. Right? So it's used to, in barrels and the, the rain garden, they used to make sure that the water So if it's overfilled, you want to dump some there, of it right? on a dry well, day? No big deal. Rain barrel. Yeah. Right. In this case, it's a retention. It's retention. It's retention, and then the in so. With regards to the with regards to the barrel, the intention on this, like talking about it from a, a purely um, a high level perspective, is that when it's raining, by catching this water, you're preventing it from going onto the onto the ground and then either eroding it because you're getting a, you know, a whole bunch from the roof that's collecting in a specific area online or coming down a leader or whatever. Um, so you're going to be retaining it, which it would be the same intention of a rain garden. Right. Um, the only issue would be then if it fills up and it's still raining, then you're starting to get this overflow. But otherwise... And what do you do in the winter? What do you, mm, you're gonna come out there in the winter and. Well, I mean, it. in the winter, your rain garden's not really. You mean? Oh, you mean if it's just sitting there for a long time? Right. What would you do with the overflow? 
Like it, what you were talking about, if it overflows into something, but what well, would you do with that? It's only going to accept 55 gallons. Sure, and right. That's a lot of dump right. out. Water that's yeah. That's, yeah. 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 that's good. Small roof. <clears throat> yeah, it's only 10 by 14. Yeah, it's 140 mm -hmm. square feet. I mean, to put the rain garden is nothing. So I yeah, was no. just, just asking about it because truthfully, yeah. I was only thinking about putting it on one side and then the yeah. rain garden on the other side because I'm not going to put leaders coming across or what all that yeah. whatnot. But um, I don't have a pro I don't have a I don't have a problem with it because okay. I mean it's just and to me it's the same intention as a. Can you give us details by Monday on what you want to do? Because you you. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even mention it. Yeah, because I wasn't too sure about it. Um, I could. And you're not building a ramp, right? You're not building a parking spot. You're just no. It's just existing. Correct. I'm sorry, but I need to come up to speed. What's it sitting on the shed? It's going to be a slab. Slab. Okay. Yep. okay. And now is the slab going to be bigger than the, the slab going to be bigger than the roof, or is it or is 140 the largest area of disturbance? I put in for uh, 11 by 15 on my calculations. So the rain garden, I think, was four by seven, or it was like 28. It depended on Depending which on calculation the, you right. wanted. If it was a f one inch, it was whatever. And oh, if it was, oh, oh. I figured for the inch and a half. But if it was one inch, then it was lower. So I mean, it, if it's a seven by eight, it's like, it was either square 30 square foot. feet or you know, it's like either 28. 28 or 43. Yeah, it was. How far back is this from the lake? Do you know? I'd say. Guesstimate. Here, 20, 20, 25 40, feet. No, about 40. 40 feet? Yeah. I'm, I, yeah, I'm fine with it being a, a, a bucket. I mean, a 55-gallon um, a drum. Container. I'm fine yeah. with that. Yeah. It's far, he's far enough from the Just lake. Just provide us details by Monday what you want to do. So if, if I want, want to go that route? If you want to go right. that route. Okay. Oh, did you show? Well, you also have to show on the drawing where the... Trench. Oh, I Does see. He he put the rain guard right next to the house. Does right he next to the shed. Does he have Correct. a trench in there? Yes. No, it's right next to the building. He's going to have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem is, is <clears throat> where that location is. There's the rock outcropping over there. Right below it. On the on the property side to uh, the north of the property. If I put a rain guard in there, it would be a joke because the rain from my neighbor and from the road come down my driveway or down his driveway and wash out everything anyway. Okay. So if I put a rain garden there, it would be pointless. Oh, okay. Foundation, was it, is this slide he's in? Concrete was it just slide. A, okay. How's that so, getting put in? Pre-mixed 4,000 pound Six, concrete. Got it. Six, what, four inches thick? Yep. Bags. Did we have an area of disturbance within the 100 foot? Did you say that? I think you mentioned that, right? Well, once he puts this on, that's his little 10 that's by it. 14. That's Fine. it. What about the um, ditch witch and the ditch that's going in for the electrical? He's only looking at a little spot. He's going to put it back once he digs it up. Well, disturbance. Disturbance. Extra it's 30 feet? 30 it's square feet? not much. It's not, it's and ditch witch only goes, what, 6 inches wide, 8 inches wide? I never used one, but I don't think it's any bigger than that. Do we have a deed in there? Do we have a deed? I don't know. Yes. Take a look. All right. So what I'd like to do is I like to, I'll make a, uh, a recommend uh, motion to uh, accept the application from Tom Metallo for 195 Westlake Boulevard with the following conditions. One, that he pro provides us with the details of um, the rain gardens adjacent to the, um, the barrels adjacent to the structure, show us details on that and size, and then um, in lieu of a rain garden. So just by Monday, let us know what you want to do. Okay, and then the other thing is, it says it's former water pump in shed. You're not going to hook water up in the shed, are you? Um, because, because now you're getting into a little. No, it's a. I'm. I'm not. 
now? <laughs> no. The answer is no. No to electric. No, no, no I have electric. electric or plumbing. No to plumbing? Well, I want to put the barrel, I want to use it to, you know, rinse things off. Yeah, no, well, we Where understand that. But you're not running a, you know, a freshwater pipe it's down it's there, existing. are you? No. no, I didn't think so. I'm just asking a question. It's existing, this for the shed? Yeah. The water pump shed? It was, that's how my house got water 100 years ago. Where is it? His house is across the street. No, where's the shed? Where's on the, the shed? fence line. No, here's the pump. No, no the, the water pump side. shed is here. Where, is it on the property line? Is it on the map? It's in the property line. It's right here. Yeah. In the property line. Okay, got it's it. Right on the, it's in, on both properties. My neighbors. And does it operate? No. Everything's there. Was it from the well or? The from the lake. lake. From, from the, the lake. lake, yeah. They pump the lake water up to my house. Okay. All right. Can I pump, can I pump water? It's like an irrigation Can I still system. pump water up to my house? <laughs> I don't think the pipes will be any good. They're good. They're galvanized. I've seen them. Oh, you would know better than anybody. That's it. All right. All right, so I'll make a motion to accept the application for Thomas Vitello, 192 Westlake Boulevard, for to construct a 10 by 14 shed with the following condition that he supplies details of the rain barrels. Do I have a motion? So moved. I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So get that to Rose by Monday, and then come back in two meetings, and if there's no public comments, get a permit. Beautiful. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I appreciate your help. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Good night. And you were very good. Should have cross-examined the, cross the witness. <laughs> have a good night, guys. Good night. Thanks. Okay. Whoops. Next is the Water Club at Lake Mayapak Condo, 141 East Lake Boulevard, beach renovation, replace the bulkhead wall. This is, you were ahead of, in front of us a couple weeks ago, right? Back More in like in November. November 7th. November 7th. And you're putting in those pre those uh, plastic. The vinyl sheet piling. The vinyl sheet piling. Yes. All right, so you last, the last meeting you were here, November 7th. Mm, got a lot of questions. A lot of comments. We need a clear survey of the in-water boundary, a letter from the DEC acknowledging the project. We needed a construction plan showing what kind of silt fence would be utilized, including fuel plants, build kit, boom, and lake in the silt fencing, and delineate on the drawings what is existing and what is proposed with shading. That's it in a summary. So do you want, do you, have, you want to walk us through this? Uh, well, the first of all, you should have been provided with the larger version of the property survey. Did you uh, get the uh, yep. large copies? Yep. Okay, here's Lake Mayapak, here's your beach area, here's the shore, the existing shoreline right now, right? The large one, hmm. right yes, here, yes. that's the shoreline. So that's the existing survey as of 2008. Yeah, no, it's, that's that hasn't changed me. much. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, all right, so then what's the plan? To put it in, to square it off, fill that area in with sand? Correct. And, well, there's also some two broken pieces of concrete on, on the other side that are going to be removed. Yes, around the... So you have a temporary boom to be placed in the water prior to the start of construction. And then... Mm -hmm. Wetlands inspector is noted on there. New vinyl sheet pile wall. Clean sand. We need a certificate. We need a certificate of clean, clean material while it's done.
How long? How deep do they go with these things? The uh, the sheet piling. Yeah. Uh, these come in seven foot lengths. So but you can actually order them longer if you wanted them to. So what are you going to do? Just going to mm. pound them in six feet? So there's like a there's two different methods. You can, you can try pushing it in with the excavator bucket, or they have a, a vibrating tamp attachment that goes on the excavator, which is kind of just right. Vibrates. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not like smashing. Yeah. It just vibrates down into place. The vibratory hammer. Yeah. And now, which way are you going to do it? Uh, vibratory hammer. Okay. Do you have a spill kit? And because it's a vibrant. Because here's my problem. I have no problems. You can do it. But my concern is the um, you have a hydraulic line that blows. Right. So I have a spill kit there on the. You beach. have a spill kit. It's on shown the on uh, sheet two. Where it will be placed. Material storage, debris storage. Location and then location of spill, spill kit. Got it. Just implanted area. So at night, you're going to store the machine on six mil poly. Right, but not on the beach. Oh, We're going to use the parking site? lot. We're going to use the parking lot across the street for the Perfect. building. Perfect. Is that is that noted anywhere? Yes, on page sheet one. Uh, on the bottom uh, left corner, you'll see uh, the parking space. I see it. I see it. Yep. Awesome. Okay. And uh, fueling too. Is that, uh, what are you going to do about fueling? Oh, I don't think we're going to burn through that much fuel for this project, but we'll do all the refueling over there in the parking lot on the plastic also. I'll probably just drive it to the Gulf Station. <laughs> and what are you using, a backhoe or a, uh, an excavator? Just the small excavator. Small excavator. Yeah, and uh, maybe a skid steer to help remove the debris, load it up. And, uh, There's not going to be much debris. It's only the, the few yeah. chunks of broken wall that we're just going to pull out. Do you have a washout area? Yeah, that's on. Uh, it's going to be right next to where we're going to park the equipment in the parking lot. That's noted on sheet one, also in the same location, and the details. Do you have a set of stamped out. plans, or are these just? Because you don't, because <coughs> the plans aren't stamped. Uh, okay. I would have brought my stamp. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot what I dropped off to Rose. Yeah, just make sure you get them. St I mean, because you're submitting those right. structural drawings, right? Yeah, I mean, if you want me to sign them now, I'll sign them now. No, you can come back and then we'll just make it a condition. Okay. Do you have a calculation of how much sand you're going to be filling? Yeah, that's all on. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Sheet it's 40, it's only like four, uh, 40 cubic yards. Great. And I assume that's being, is that being dump trucked back down to there? Or? Yeah. Yeah, the, the gate's wide enough to, uh, to back a dump truck through. Got it. All right. So the sand is overwashing what exists of the wall now? There is no wall. There's no wall? In that section, there is no wall. Okay. But it just, uh, you know, everything keeps eroding. There's also the waterfowl that's coming up on the land, and they leave their droppings there. And no one wants to go down file. the beach. <laughs> what? Deed in the file. Well, the answer to that is a dog. <laughs> they have a, they have like a fake uh, dog. Yeah, I don't know how good those things work. Yeah, it does, it does <laughs> work. What? Did you say there's a fake dog there? Fake dog. Cut out of the Cut yeah, out like a silhouette. The German Shepherd. Gotcha. Yeah. Did you submit a, a deed? So the building's lawyer said that there is no actual deed. There's just a property description because it's a condominium complex. I'm just going by what he Does said, that but that right? was I'm no lawyer. that's this three-page document that was given to me and handed to you. But I play uh, play a doctor on TV. <laughs> Uh, did you submit that document? Uh, I gave it to Rose, but I have a, a copy. Do you mind if I take a look at it? I'll give it back sure. to you, but I don't see it in did the file here. Did you get here. a copy of the letter of authorization also? I did not see that either. From who? And do you have a sequence of construction? Yes, I did see that. Okay, so you got that? I didn't see that. Sequence of construction? Wasn't that on the... Wait, maybe no, I didn't see letter. that. It was on the gate and a half by 11. Sheet of paper that was dropped off as well. Nope. Was it, uh, did, you get the email? did I get the email? Did she email or what email up to you? I, yeah, but it's, I see, she probably gave me the drawings and she probably gave me this, the DEP permit. 
You should have the DEP and the DEC from the last time I was here. You didn't go to the Army Corps, did you? I was an advisor. I had that. I would reach out to them. Why? Because we're working on a waterway, New York State Water. If you read here, the DEP, when, all right. When, when they're working on or around the water, they need to have the DEC, the DEP, and depending on the project, the Coast Guard, right? Especially if you're working along the shoreline. Now, this is a lake. I would just reach out to the Army Corps, explain the project, It'd probably be settled by an email. As these others were involved. Right. Because it says here, this project may still require regulatory approval from other agencies. That's your responsibility to tell me that you don't need anything else. I have 50 agencies. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Should be this is from we did get it in an email, so it's just not in the file. There was no printed version of it. Did you want to see the printed version now? I'd appreciate that, sure. First, the topic of the organization, the next three pages is that uh, water from the water. Got it. And you got the DEC. So, I mean, what you got to do is just this project will need coverage on the DEC stormwater construction permit. Right, but DEC came back and said that no, it's not like it was built. Uh, right. It was a major project. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Right. right. It's not part of the infrastructure program of the nation. Got it. Well, it wasn't like hard skate to like bring through your uh, yeah. right. mm -hmm. water bottle. No, no, nothing. In fact, you protect the water. All right. Interesting. I haven't seen one of these before. It's in their name, so I'll take it. In the file? In the computer that they don't get taxed on, whatever. Uh, hopefully you didn't kick a hornet's nest there. Uh, hmm, interesting. No, I was explaining the way by <laughs> the finance department. Sure. So, I'm sure. Just nod your head a lot. Mm -hmm. No, that's fine. So if you guys are, uh, it's, it's worth them. I'm good. I, it, I think we just leave it in the file. What, you want to leave it if you don't mind. If you don't mind. It doesn't look like it's an original anyway, so. Oh, yeah. All right. There you go. Yeah. All right. So with that, then, I'm going to just, I'm going to make a motion then to accept the application for the water club at Lake Mayapak Condo with the following conditions. One, stamp the drawings. Do I need to give you four sets of stamps? Um, we don't need to see it again, so I don't think that's necessary. Right. You can put one in the file, this way it's, there's a stamp set in the so file. So I can just drop it off to Rose and... Yeah, you can drop it off by Monday. Okay. By Monday, because it's got to get advertised. Right. Two is you got to provide a certificate of clean fill. At what point do I have to provide that? Before you do the fill. You go, you go to the, uh, the quarry, wherever you're getting the fill from, Ask me to need a certificate of clean fill and just give it to Rose and tell her to put it in the file. Okay, the the building wants something called like uh, Jones Beach. It's like some sand that comes from Jones Beach or something like that. Or well, they yeah. whatever yeah. they called uh, it. Listen, Dead they sand. will know what okay. a certificate of clean fill yeah. is. Okay. Uh, you want sand, right? <laughs> oh yeah, you got to give us some. You showed us a floating boom in the in the drawings. Just got to give us a boom detail. Okay, I have a question about the floating boom. Do I need to have one continuous boom going around that rock jetty, or can I have it go, you know, have two separate booms? What? To go from the corner up to the... What do you need? What's, what's, what well, do you because it's going to add a lot of length to that, yeah. that boom. But where else would, where would you cap it? You'd put it here. To like, to like this rock jetty, and then from continuing it out. In other words, sections. Where's the rock? Yeah, I don't see where the rock jetty is on the here. The rock jetty is over here. That, the, I mean, that's the, that's fine. If there's a jetty, what does that matter, right? Yeah, why don't you just attach it to the end of the jetty? You can take care of this leg. Yeah. And use that's the fine. Jetty. Yeah. The jetty's going to... So this way you have smaller They have rooms. a little dock on that anyway. Yeah, on top of it. They take in yeah, they take it. Yeah, so you just use the rock jetty as a side. Just go like this. Hook it to the jetty. Right? It does need to be around wherever you're working, but yeah, you yeah, can use Yeah, the make jetty. sure you... Pre all we're trying to do is prevent stuff well, from getting into the water. That there is a little bit of work that's going on on the other side of Rock J. That's why I understand. So can you get a tiny one to put there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so I would do two. That's fine. Two separate ones is fine. Okay. It's fine. 
Because when you get an increase in length, it becomes a yeah. more expensive. Though. And then uh, fueling on plastic across the street. That's okay. across the street. I don't it's care. It's not on the map. It's not written down though. It's not. Like, he's not going to store them. Just is there a statement? Here? Yeah, he's storing the material. Across the street. Who he, can cares? Just, he can just add fueling to this. He's putting concrete washout, storage, and Put, fueling. Uh, give us a note that fueling we stored, fueling done off site. It's going to provide us a stamp copy, anyways. Yeah, and then uh, you got to check on the Army Corps of Engineers. So, with this, I'll agree to accept the application with the following conditions. Uh, stamp drawings, provide certificate of clean fill for the sand that you're and bringing it to the site. Uh, boom, provide boom detail, uh, copy of the fueling, put a note, fueling to be performed off site, and uh, something from the Army Corps of Engineers. Okay? Your permit is going to be contingent on some correspondence from them. Okay. Uh, the boom, you said you need a boom detail, so you want like a well, sheet just show us the, the which type of boom you're using, okay? Right, and the ones that you need to provide by Monday are the boom detail, that fueling note, and the stamp, okay? And then the ACOE, the Army Corps, and the Cert of Clean Fill is before you get your permit. Get your permit. How okay. long is the, uh, the boom? well, I'm not gonna the certificate of clean fill is gonna hold up the permit, no, oh, okay. it doesn't. It's no, it's, it's no, it's only at the time I'm going to place it, right? Well, can you get a letter from them saying that they only provide certified clean fill, and then when you get the certified clean fill, just give it to Rose for the for the thing? Yeah, I mean, in my sequence of construction, I list you know when I'm going to get the certificate of clean fill. And okay, okay, that's fine. Just make sure it gets to the file. Okay. Yeah, make sure it gets to. The but file. I don't have to wait. No, we're not. Once I hold provide it, no one's going to hold up the project. No. You know? Okay. What's the length of the? Uh, the boom that you want to use that you anticipate? I think it was like a hundred foot. Oh. I have to pull the, uh, mm. actually, no, I, I have it on my phone still. Let's see. Yeah, it's you done with this? Yeah, just provide a catalog cut of that. That you're gonna. That's Perfect. what you're gonna use around the site. Yeah. Okay. And then the other condition is before the permit is, once the boom is installed and you start work, you're gonna have to notify the wetland inspector to cut. I did inspect. see that was that's in the note. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that to be removed until after. Until after the work is done. Okay. So do I have a? I made the motion. Do I have a? So what? moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, you're on the clock, and we'll see you. Okay. All right? No problem. I have one other quick question that's unrelated to this. Um, have you ever seen those floating like, jet ski docks? Do those require a permit also on the lake? They're not, what, attached they're not to permanent. The, if they're are not they permanent? They're not permanent, but they're just floating. Then, no. No permit. No permit. All right. All right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, do I need to appear here again, or is it just give it to Give the stuff to Rose, and then when your permit is ready, then you can you show gotta, you gotta show up. You got to come back up. one more time. Yeah, you got to come back one more time. But when your permit's ready. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Guys. Thank you. Good night. Okay. We have some minutes we have to approve. Ten three. We can't do. Wait. I, we talked last time. I read through it. Oh, you did. Yeah. But it's up to you, as the chairman, if you want to allow us to vote for that. Well, you weren't here for it, so how could you vote we on it? We could never vote for it. We don't have anyone on the board. We don't have enough people on the board who were at that meeting to we'll vote for it. Oh, yeah, well, well, so I, could, I, was, I told last meeting, I said I would read the minutes mm -hmm. and vote if the chairman was okay with Well, he with can't it. vote. So, but no, we have still three. got three. But when Vince gets back, we'll have... He can't. He wasn't there either. You need to. All vote. right. So then do I have a motion to accept the meeting minutes of 10 3 19. So moved. Second. He can't say. I wasn't here, so I can't. You weren't here? Oh, we do have to wait to vent some. Thank you. I, I, I'm sorry. I thought that... Uh, you, you, you weren't listening to me. You want me to read it? <laughs> you should we'll read wait it for Vince. 11-7, we can vote on. Do I have a motion to accept the meeting minutes of 11-7-19? Make that motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. 
Do I have a motion to accept the? You, we can't vote on this one either until Vince gets back either, because you were out, and he can't vote. And the one who was sitting in that chair before him could have voted. Another quandary. All right, so well, we'll just leave him open. Can, well, I man, I read those minutes for nothing. <laughs> I'm saying it's good reading. I'm sitting here talking with you guys, and then I gotta go read what you said again. Ah, uh, come on. All right. So with that, <laughs> um, the only meeting minutes approved are 11 7 19. The other two stay open. Do I have a motion to close the meeting? Make that motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Good night. Have a good evening. Bye.